Much of the work you'll be doing this semester will be posted to our course website, in particular your weekly blog posts and the podcast episode you produce with your team. By now you should have reviewed all the syllabus material posted to the website. There you'll have read the primary learning outcomes for this class. Primary learning outcomes are the goals faculty establish for our classes, goals that are written to describe what you will be able to do and not just what you'll know as a result of a particular college class. In case you skimmed past this part, here are the primary learning outcomes for this class. Identify the defining characteristics of dystopia and analyze real and imaginary contexts against that definition. Communicate effectively through writing and speaking. Use quantitative, empirical, and critical reasoning skills to solve problems. Apply socially responsible and ethical principles to promote equity and sustainability in ways that align with our mission as a historically black and Catholic institution. Demonstrate personal and accountability and effective work habits. Given the mission of the university and given the focus of this course, I think your learning will be more meaningful and maybe even more enjoyable if you see yourself as a conduit for other people even those not on this campus. In recent years, some academics have embraced the idea of making knowledge public. This may seem like an obvious idea, but if you think about how academia works, it's actually rather revolutionary. In academia, traditionally, we produce knowledge for other people in academia. If I write an article about the dystopian manga series, Attack on Titan, I'm going to try to publish it in an academic journal one that's read by other academics interested in dystopias or interested in comic art. That journal isn't available for purchase at the local bookstore. It's probably not even available through Amazon. So who benefits from my publishing that brilliant article in that academic journal? Well, I do, because getting published in an academic journal is no easy thing, and the handful of academics who subscribe to that journal benefit because they'll receive their copy of the journal and read the article. And maybe at some point, some student who's writing a different paper about Attack on Titan will stumble across my article because their school's library subscribes to that journal, and they might use it to support their academic work. Again, the people benefiting from that knowledge I've created is a small group. Likewise, who benefits when you write an essay for one of your classes? You do, because writing an essay is a good learning experience. Your professor does because they get to read your brilliant ideas. And that's it. Academia is a walled garden. Our traditions are built around keeping secrets. This goes back hundreds of years when only the best people could be included in academia and therefore given access to all that secret knowledge. To be honest, it's a rather oppressive system. Making knowledge public attempts to subvert that oppressive system. Instead of producing new and brilliant ideas and only sharing them within the walls of the university, we find ways to share those new and brilliant ideas with anyone in the world who might be interested in them. Your blog posts and your podcast episodes will do just that. Now there's a risk to doing this, but let's be honest, when has fighting oppression ever not been risky? The risk is that you are putting yourself out there for anyone and everyone to see. Our mistakes are more open to scrutiny. Our ideas might face greater challenges. So we need to be extra diligent in our efforts. Writing a blog post may seem like something that doesn't require any proofreading, but if everyone in the world can read it, whether it's a parent or an old teacher or a future employer, you want it to look and sound good. Remember, though, that this is a benefit of this kind of pedagogy. Your work is out there for others to see. If you're applying for an internship or grad school or medical school or a scholarship or a job and the people making those decisions can see your good work, then you've set yourself apart from all the other candidates. So with all that in mind, we're putting a lot of our work this semester out there for the world to see and for the world to learn from. I think in the long run, it's the only option that makes sense at a school with a mission like ours. Let me know if you have any questions.